This a weird world. Look around you. Just look around you. Nobody normal. Just look around you. Your grandmother, she ain't normal. Your grandpa, he ain't normal. Your aunts, your mom's brother, even your mom's ain't normal. And your dad, he way past normal. He abnormal. You're the whole fucking world abnormal. You remember water we got? No water. Niggas really crossed over. Fuck Puffy and what he do. I don't give a fuck about him. Everybody in the hell. Niggas wanted to be around and they took the penalty, but they want to get paid. They know what was going on before. They enjoyed it. That's why they keep going back. Fuck up out of here with that shit. They can't fool me. That's why I live in New York, man. Ain't no rapper, my fucking. Yo, no nigga that rap, man, is my hero, man. Yeah, I listen to rap. I listen to niggas like Cool G Rap, Mob D. Of course, I listen to LL, Kumo D, Smith and Wesson, the Foo Snickers. I listen to a whole lot of dudes, man. Nature, Core Mega, you know what I'm saying, Nori. A lot of dudes I listen to, man. Wu Tang, you know what I'm saying, the Rizza, the Jizza. You God, niggas like down. Niggas never was my heroes. We got niggas, they niggas heroes now. They got living a du dual life. Niggas go with niggas, and niggas own money. Niggas is doing all kinds of shit. Everybody that got caught up know what was going on because they wanted people money and people association. So why don't they just simply stay? All these motherfuckers are getting caught up in people and they shit. It's because they love people's shit. You pay the price of being around motherfuckers. It's a cold world out here, man. Niggas is kinky, yo, out here. Yo. I don't trust niggas. Niggas got money and shit. I don't trust them. You see people don't want to be around them. Fuck them and they Okay, if I bump into niggas. If I meet niggas right now, I don't care how much money they got. That shit don't mean nothing to me. I live in New York, man. Niggas have millions. I never gave a fuck. You feel me? I never give a fuck about what niggas had. I don't want to be now. See, you work for shit. You work for Kazaya. What? You work for Kazaya. So when she come forward, you go tell she my mommy work for her. What people own is what they own. I'm, I'm going to tell you something, right? I used to be in English Harbor, right? And when I'm in English Harbor, my man, he be telling me, go with these white chicks. Go with these white chicks. I was like, for what? No. He's like, man, he wants somebody to fuck with, man. He's like, man, why I got to be a subject? Because I was there at the time, and I was there every day, all day. They came by his establishment, man. They was looking at me like, yo, I like this dude. But little did they know, I had no interest whatsoever in doing that shit that they was doing. And one day I got fed up with them and said, look, I'm going to do it. When I did it, do you know how much money I gained? These niggas is up here in the meanwhile doing this shit for years and years. These are, yo, these dudes. Yo, these dudes. Go with white chicks with mad money. Now, you know what they do, yo? They just spend the money well and rent cars and traveling around with their friends, you heard? And get involved in all types of different activities that is not endorsable. And I watch them, man. They know these niggas gain more than I did when I was in English Harbor. 
Yeah, and they was yeah. jealous of me. Yeah. Forget me, they go with almost all the white chicks that wanted to go with black dudes that come in their area. I was the nigga, I only go with certain ones. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, they gained more than me, but they wasted it all. Nigga, how would I go with a white chick, man, and don't stack my money? They come in for fun, they ain't come in for no relationship. You willing to give them fun? Give them fun, man. You know what I'm saying? Give them fun. Make sure you know what you do with your money at the end of the day. You heard? You got to know what you do with your money. Antique is a complicated place. When you get access or the opportunity to make a score, you should oblige and take in that total opportunity to half whatever amount of resources you can get from the system. Niggas want to have fun, sniff, cocaine. I'm looking at niggas like, really? And I said to myself, this is how these niggas live. And I noticed when I'm over here in Antigua, dudes that have a lot of opportunities, they don't fuck with shit. They just fuck up shit, man. Like, railroad shit. Like, complicate shit, man. Like, you feel me? Like, for real, man. Me, I'm a different nigga. I'm cut from a different fabric. You heard? I'm wigging on on top of that. And, 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 and come and cool correspondence. Lord. Shiesty with it too. Word? Airplane mode. Word? Get it right out here, man. I don't know what y'all niggas doing. Y'all niggas chasing down that vagina, that canyon, whatever women got to offer. But it's a lot you can do, man, and I'm doing it right now. Fuck everything. There's going to be time for all these other women. Get yourself in perspective. And everything you really thought about mentally is going to naturally come to fruition. Because you have this information submerged in your subconscious, which is as a memory bank for that information of that transition you plan. Yo, my nigga, I'm on it. Like white on rice. I'm on it like sophistication with application sufficient enough to make it over those hurdles so at the end of the game or the end of like this benefits for me man it's been doing a lot bro but they haven't been showing no elevation yeah boy there's no elevation for you brother i haven't seen no peak out in prosperity which what's your focus Anyway, I know my focus. I'm a wig till my sun set, motherfucker. I have no time to not obligate myself to surrounding myself with the wig. I got to keep the volcano cool, nigga. I got to keep the volcano cool, nigga. What you think it is, man? It's real out here, homie. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to get to the next subject because you already know. It's real out here. Huh?
I'm gonna wait till my sun set, you heard? So if you got other plans for yourself, it's up to you. If you on some Diddy shit, it's up to you. I'm on some real live shit. I'm one of the original hound dogs, yo, from Brooklyn, my nigga. Real shit, nigga. And I'm still alive. Shout out. We're gone. Anti is a complicated place. Niggas out here, they'll hit you up on it unexpectedly. So if you out here, you tough. You better know what you're doing, my nigga. They'll kidnap you out here. <laughs> and then nobody can find you. I don't know why. There's been a lot of people missing lately. And it's perpetual. This thing been happening over and over and over and over again. Ask me what's going on. I don't know. Possibly there's a time machine in Antigua. If you want to get in that time machine, it's up to you. Them niggas out here, they'll get you. Ah. They'll bubble your way. Oh, you tough? Come out here to Antigua. Oh, you a warrior? Oh, you kill niggas? Come out here. Yeah, I'm on this. Them boys out here will bury Oh, well, you was a hero in your town. Oh, well, when you lived in America, you got a lot of guns. Oh, well, the boys out here got it for you. Um, you will be missing, motherfucker. You better learn that fact. Them boys out here, they kidnap you. Never to be seen again. Niggas around here be vanishing. I don't know what they involved with. Talk to the wig. I got a volcano under the motherfucker. So if you think this is a joke when I'm bringing this information to you in reference to there's a volcano under the wig, you can get real juvial. You can start a program of laugh, a program of laugh lounging. Um, it's still gonna remain the same. There is a volcano under the wig, but check this out. Over here. These niggas out here, they wicked. Oh, they'll hit you. Ah. Them niggas out here will kidnap you. I'm living in Antigua. You know the amount of niggas vanished? Oh, they went to heaven. Oh, they part of the sainthood. These niggas, you trying to tell me they ain't heaven conducting a choir? You motherfucker. I don't know where they at. But it obviously, they disappeared. I don't know where they at. If you can tell me where niggas at when they disappear, don't tell me. Because maybe you know where they at. I don't want to know. Don't tell me you're stuck. Yeah? It's real talk. Hold up. You killed niggas in America? What? Oh, you lived in the Bronx? Oh, you, you Benny Blanco cousin? You Benny Blanco from the Bronx? Hey. Right. Come out here. Niggas will purge you out here. Antigua different right now. You will get missing in action. Two seconds, you heard? I don't know why. I don't know if niggas got a time machine at their mansion or their residency, but niggas been disappearing. I ain't never made a nigga disappear. I mean, behind me. I want him to discover whatever it is I left behind. 
I, I don't want niggas to disappoint. Cause I got beef with niggas and it's that serious. I ain't trying to let niggas disappear. I'm splattering right on, on, on point. Like, hairline removed. <gasps> Funeral. Fuck all. That's how the world works. You fuck with people, they get angry enough, they'll just, they'll just deliver you. They'll deliver you. Good Lord. To a state of disappearance, motherfucker. Yes. And go. Beg no fuck yeah, more this scum. I beg since 191735. Oh, I can't. Beg no fuck yeah, more this scum. Since 1735, yeah, I've been begging. It's about. Fucking time, eh? Mother scunt up, beg, eh? Fuck all. We gone. It's a cold world out here. Good lord. The terrain is treacherous out here right now in the world. It's treacherous. It's a lot of canaling people moving around in the space of life. There's a lot of con artists, envious, jealous people. They just in the world right now. At the, and they, they, they come and they, they pick in the section. He had to, he didn't have no choice. He didn't have no choice, he had to, Not he, even he, that he's a prime okay, minister, okay, so he had a choice. Because you have every country, have, play, every country has every country has to create its history. They have to create the history. More or less. My hair got issues. Something wrong with my hair. Yeah. Something wrong with my hair. Put this put this together. If if a real bird can was seen who liberate our freedom for slavery, right? Yeah. A hundred years before that, they killed Prince Flash. Prince Flash. And who there was Prince Flash? I'm getting in history right now. Something wrong in the Antigua. The place is a wild place. Um, it's a lot of complication with family members. Antigua is a complicated place to live. So. Good Lord. Sometimes you meet a person and you gotta wonder like who raised this individual? Is this person real? I'm real. The wig is real. You seen it. It's out there. I saw you factually need to know. I don't got nothing else to really put on the board for you to evaluate. Yeah? It's authentically real. The wig has a volcano beneath it. It is likely to erupt at any given moment. Uh, that's what it is right now. It's likely to erupt at any given moment, you just gotta activate it. You take an ignorant motherfucker to activate my, my volcano. It's a rap. I don't play with niggas out here. What else? You just heard what I said, right? Niggas out here will kick you. Oh, you think you need to be in America, huh? Yeah, 
Oh, well, they got some cold people in there, Antigua. They just ran away from their family, family members that died at home when they home. I swear to God, yo, they evil as hell out here. Good Lord. <laughs> Credit card number in the book that he had on the day I saw him with now. <laughs> you love this small fucker. You ain't never, you love your neighbor and that's your family member. You never visit your family, but you worrying about where's his credit card and what's the number. <laughs> What do we do the pickup truck? <laughs> what about the produce on the farm and his cows? <laughs> Some of you motherfuckers is waiting for your family to die, yo. Good Lord. You are a different species. These new generation people are made different. Older folks, the grandkids waiting on you to die, motherfuckers. Lord. They want your property. They want to shine before they even had the opportunity to glow. Before you shine, you got to glow. You got to show signs that you can maintain the voltage that it's going to take to keep your illumination going. And as time progresses, right? you're going to increase the ability of your illumination. That's what these motherfuckers around here, they waiting for their family to die. Not everybody, but some of these motherfuckers around here, like, I heard one nigga said, man, oh man, my uncle, man, can't, can't wait till that nigga die. I was like, what? I heard one girl said to me she can't wait for her mother to die. How cold could you really be, yo? Somebody asked me if it's legal. No, it's not. You see the fucking seal. What else you need to see, motherfucker? You saw the sea. Alright then, thank you. Don't worry. About nothing. You motherfuckers are different out here. You sitting around waiting for your fit. Everybody, you go to I wonder how much you got in the bank account. <laughs> they couldn't buy him a cheaper fucking casket. Keep the rest. You don't need that nice cat. Y'all motherfuckers even jealous of the dead. Motherfuckers getting sent off in a casket. You jealous of the motherfuckers. Good Lord. How could you? The fucking nervy. 
I got PTSD thinking about your existence. Knowing that you on the earth breathing the same air as I, motherfucker. <sighs> It wasn't no much granny. My mom's been for grandpa casket. I heard it was 15000 I don't know why she ain't buy that nigga a board box. You even questioning what the dead should be in, motherfuckers. <laughs> Who's gonna end up with his house? <laughs> oh, you watching that nigga house too? Oh, so you the grandkids, you thought you gonna come before his kids, motherfuckers? And now that he bestowed what he had to bestow upon his children, you now wish death on your parents so you could own the materialistic objects that left behind by her grandfather? Fucking nerve of you. <laughs> You worrying about the Nissan that old man just bought before he died? Good Lord. <laughs> you, hold on, you want everything? So you don't want him to bury him with his, with the, his wedding ring? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't want for them to bury him with his wedding ring? You don't want your grandmother buried with her wedding ring because you could possibly sell it and get your nails done, bitch? I'm flabbergasted by your actions, bitch. Cry with me. <laughs> Oh, bitch, your grandpa died? Are you worrying about the money he left behind? Are you an accountant, bitch? <laughs> no! I'm not a fucking... <laughs> bitch, it ain't even two days. The whole family squabbling over this man's collection on the earth. And then you have the nerve to cry, so I'm gonna cry with you, motherfuckers. <laughs> cry your fuck over, God. <laughs> uh, bitch, I'm gonna cry with you, bitch. Oh, your uncle died. Like, I give a fuck, bitch. You want me to resurrect the motherfucker? He OAPUA, motherfucker. You don't remember that part, do you? You ain't gonna try to pay off that bill he left behind? You, he owed a water company. You <laughs> buddy, you good on me. Oh, God. You buddy, you good on me. Bitch, you looking for his credit card in his room, bitch? The nerve of you, motherfucker. Oh, you check Nissan because you like their new trucks, motherfucker? Oh, you a boss, huh? Where about the dead for that, your mother's concern? Let's all cry together prematurely before their departure. Ah! Three just pick up before you mother's gone dead. 